Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my new XML video tutorial series. I recently asked you guys what you wanted to see, and I've received tons of emails asking for this tutorial, so here you go. On the screen, you can see Eclipse. It looks exactly the same in every single operating system, and it's free. That's the reason why I use it. Now, over here on the left side of the screen, if you do not see Project Explorer, very easy. Just go over here and click on Window, Show View, and then click on Project Explorer, and it'll pop up on your screen just like that. Also, inside of Eclipse, I prefer to use the web editor, but of course there is an XML editor, but use whichever one you like. I just like the web editor specifically. And all of the code that is in this tutorial is available in a link underneath of this video. The first thing we're gonna need to do, of course, is create our XML file. So I'm gonna right click on source over here inside of a directory. And if you don't have anything over here, you can go file new and create a new project or whatever you would like to do on there. But since I already have one, I'm just gonna right click on source, go new, scroll down so I get to other click on that then you're gonna have this handy dandy little wizard pop up here inside of this XML directory right here I'm gonna come down and click on XML file and click on next and I'm gonna change the name of this to TV shows dot XML click on next and I'm gonna let this set as create XML file from an XML template and then click on next and I'm gonna let all this be exactly the same and click on finish. You can see right here what is called the XML declaration and it just states what version of XML I'm using as well as my encoding. Now XML, like you probably know, is known as extensible markup language and it is used for storing information as well as describing the structure of information. However, it is also used for transporting information. It is not a language, but it's pretty much just a series of rules for organizing data. Now, if I wanna display this information on a screen, I'm gonna use what's called an XSLT style sheet. And in the next part of this tutorial, I'm gonna go over what you can do with XSL files. And I'm just gonna type is equal to and text forward slash XSL because that's what it is. And H reference is gonna be equal to TV shows dot XSL and then close off that guy right there. Then what I'm gonna do is create what is known as the root element. Now there can only be one root element and this is gonna contain all of the other different nodes that are inside of our XML file that we have here. And I'm gonna call this guy TV shows, I like that. And you can see that almost every single element that you ever create is going to have a closing bracket. Now I'm not gonna use all this stuff right now, I'm gonna wait until a later tutorial to go over exactly what's going on with that. Now after I've created this root element inside of it I'm going to create a whole bunch of other different nodes that are going to have a whole bunch of information in regards to television shows so I'm going to tab this in here so it's a little bit easier to see and I'm going to create a new element called show and of course it's going to have a closing tag as well now it's very important to know that XML is case sensitive so show in lowercase letters is much different than show in uppercase letters so just pay attention to that and element names inside of our XML file can begin either with a letter of course like I have here or an underscore, or they can start off with a colon like that. Those are the different things you can have. And then of course you can have numbers afterwards, but you can't have the number as the very first thing inside of one of these guys. And if you would like all your XML nodes to show up unedited, just like you see here on the screen, what you would do is just put a bracket and exclamation mark, another square bracket, and then C data bracket. And then after our little show part here, bracket, bracket, and then this other bracket. And if you did that, whenever you show this inside of a browser, it is going to show all these individual nodes and instead of showing any type of stylized nodes but we'll get more into that later on and that's definitely something you can play with on your own okay so now that I've created this of course I have to define all the different elements that make up what I'm going to be referring to as a show so I'm gonna say name of course and I'm gonna say life on Mars is going to be one of the elements that I'm going to put inside of here another thing is I'm gonna put the release year for this show 2008 end date and I'm just making these up that's what XML is it allows you to define your own tags and pretty much come up with whatever you want to show on the screen and date and then I'm gonna put network that this show is on and then you can also add attributes to any of these different individual elements so let's say I want to have country inside of here however if you do add any attributes you have to put those inside of quotes and then here I'm gonna put ABC and then network right like that and then I'm gonna link out to what I'm gonna call poster in this situation and I'm going to give it an attribute called href and this is going to link out to an image for said TV show online and I just bounced out there online and got this great big giant huge JPEG name and remember put the double quotes inside of there 
I'm also going to come in and say width is going to be equal to 214 pixels and height is going to be equal to 317 pixels. And this is one of the only times in which we're not going to need to have a closing tag because this whole entire guy is going to be self-contained with that forward slash and that closing bracket. And then I'm going to come in here and also go viewers. And you can also define units for, let's say, so let's just say this is going to represent millions of different viewers. And then inside of here, I'm going to go 7.82, which was the average number of viewers for said television show. And let's just keep that all nice and neat. It's very important to know that for the most part inside of these different tag areas, you can pretty much put anything that you want to put inside of here. However, there are what are called five character entities in which you have to put in a specific code and you cannot put in just whatever you want. Another thing that I don't think I mentioned was if you want to put comments inside of here, that's exactly how you do it. And here I'll list out the different character entities that you have to type in. If you want an and sign to show up on the screen, you're going to have to type and, A-M-P and then a semicolon. If you want an apostrophe to show up on your screen, you're going to have to type in and APOS and a semicolon. If you want a greater than sign to show up, you're going to have to type in and GT and a semicolon. If you want a less than to show up, and you're going to have to do this a lot, you're going to have to put in and LT like, like that. And if you want double quotes to show up just as raw data, you have to put in and QUOT right like that. So those are the character entities that if you want to use them inside of your XML document, you have to use these special little codes with them. But more on that later on. Don't want to confuse you. If you didn't understand that, don't worry about it. And then basically inside of this XML file, we're going to do exactly the same thing over and over and over again. So I might as well just go in here and copy this. And I'm going to throw in two additional shows. The next show I'm going to throw in is going to be Life on Mars again, but this is going to be the British version. And so it began in 2006. It ended in 2007. Country, UK, BBC. See, I'm just putting in basically the same thing. I'm going to have to jump out onto the web and grab the poster for this. Okay, got that. Row that inside of there. And the width and the height is going to be exactly the same. Number of viewers is 6.8 million in this situation. You can see I'm just throwing in data here. And then I'm going to scroll down and throw in another television show. Let's say Freaks and Geeks. Began in 1999, ended in 2000. Country in this situation is going to be US. Network's going to be ABC, not need to change that. Grab the image for this guy, paste that in there. And then this is going to be 6.7 million viewers. And right there is a sample XML file. In the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you a bunch of neat ways to style it using tvshows.xsl. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.